Hi, my name is Adam Walkover, culinary specialist with Gordon Food Service in the Florida Division. Today we're going to go take a tour through vegetables. Now, the first thing that might pop into your mind is vegetarian or maybe even vegan, but that's not what we're going to focus on today. We're going to highlight the macro trend that is growing across the United States that is veg-centric. Now, when we talk about veg-centric, just like I mentioned before, we're not talking about vegan or vegetarian menus alike. We are actually talking about just nudging that protein off to the side of the dish and using the protein flavors and seasonings to actually enhance the beautiful vegetables and produce that we have access to throughout the United States. So today we're gonna to take a butternut squash, typically that would be either stewed, slow roasted, or even hard char grilled, but we're gonna keep it very, very simple. So we're just going to slice it a little bit carpaccio style, kind of top it with some beautiful organic microgreens and some nice robust cherry tomatoes. Now to bring in some of that proteins that we just pushed off to the side of the plate, we're actually gonna render down some bone marrow and add that as a base to our vinaigrette today. So now you've got a gorgeous veg vegetable dish with a nice robust bone marrow vinaigrette. Why don't we go take a look on how it's put together. talk about the trend that is veg-centric. Now, when most consumers and restaurateurs think veg-centric, they think either vegan or vegetarian. And we are talking the complete polar opposite. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna highlight the nice, robust flavor of a rich bone marrow within a vinaigrette, and then we're gonna slice some butternut squash carpaccio style, which you typically would resort to a meat, whether it be a wild game or a beef carpaccio instead. And then we're gonna finish it off with a nice fresh salad. So very, very simple what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with a nice butternut winter squash, slice it real thin on a mandolin, um, just to make sure you get it nice and paper thin. And then once we get those slices done paper thin, we're gonna move on over here and fill it, or set it aside inside of some ice water to help retain the crispiness, texture, and the flavor of the winter squash. Now, what you could do if you wanted is you could cut it into sticks, you could cut it into cubes, or even cut it this carpaccio style and do a nice hard roast or a char on it, which it re-accentuates the different uh, flavor and the cooking techniques that you can do within this veg-centric cuisine. But I happen to like the raw form, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and go with today. So the next thing we're gonna do is we've got some beautiful fresh hearts of palm uh, flown in from Costa Rica from our folks over at Halpern Steak and Seafood. So again, on that same sliced mandolin, we're gonna slice it a couple different ways. We've got some rings out of the top of the stalk and then out of the bottom where it's nice and firm, we're gonna take it and slice it sideways and get some ribbons out of it. And really the only difference between the two slices is the actual look itself. So we wanted just a couple different uh, textures and looks when we go ahead and plate our dish at the end to kind of give it a different look. So once we've got all of those vegetables done, we then want to take some of that uh, nice, beautiful, raw, canoe cut bones, marrow bones that we have. We're going to season those up with a little salt and pepper, and then we're going to go over to the oven and put them into an oven and render down some of that marrow. And again, we're going to use that as the base of our salad dressing when we get done with this dish. So now that the marrow bones are all rendered down, uh, we can start to prepare our salad. So we've got some nice heirloom cherry tomatoes, so we're going to go ahead and slice those in half and set those off to the side in a nice bowl. Inside of that bowl we've already added some of our hearts of palm that we've sliced and prepared a little earlier and then we're going to add some fresh Cahaba Club microgreens from a nice uh, microgreen farm uh, in Odessa, Florida, just north of Tampa. Good partner Gordon Food Service. So the mix we're using today is their micro fiery mix. So it's got a nice mix of uh, micro daikon, micro wasabi, and some micro radish, and a little bit of beets blood just to give it a pop of color. So we're gonna add all that stuff together and set that bowl off to the side. Now we're gonna go back and start our vinaigrette. 
So now that our bone marrow is come out of the oven, we've got it all nice and rendered down. We're gonna add that to a bowl, add, dump in some of those beef drippings from the bottom of the sheet pan as we go through there, because we're gonna use that as a base of our rich vinaigrette. Beautiful. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those nice seasoned marrow bones, and we're just gonna take a spoon here, and we're gonna scrape out the middle of that bone. And you'll see the marrow just slides right out once you season it and roast it in a nice hot oven. It just kind of falls right out from underneath. And then we'll take some of the leftover drippings from the bottom of the pan and go ahead and dump those into the bowl as well. So just a simple vinaigrette recipe. We're gonna take the bowl off to the side. We're gonna add in those moat marrow. We're gonna add in a little bit of those beef drippings. Add in some Dijon mustard as a nice binder. Just add a, about a spoonful or so into that, just to help emulsify that product as it goes together. Um, typical basic vinaigrette recipe, uh, an olive oil base of vinaigrette, or vinegar base, and we're just gonna add some fresh diced shallots in there to kind of give it a little extra texture, some crispiness. And then in the vinegar form, we could have picked any ordinary red vinegar or white wine vinegar, but because we're using a nice, rich, robust bone marrow, we wanted to kind of kick up the vinegar as well. So we're using a nice champagne vinegar. So we're just gonna pop this bottle open, we're gonna add a little bit in there. You don't want too, too much because it's already nice and rich with the bone marrow. Kind of give that just a little mix. Kind of incorporate all those flavors. Now with any good vinaigrette, you need to start with a very good extra virgin olive oil. So we're gonna go ahead and drizzle in some of this Augusto brand extra virgin olive oil into the bowl. As we're drizzling, we wanna make sure we whisk it so we get a nice emulsification. You don't wanna to add too, too much uh, olive oil to it because it'll really take away from the bone marrow and the champagne vinegar that we put in there. So you'll see we've got some nice texture with the shallots, a little bit of texture from the bone marrow, and then a nice basic uh, shallot uh, champagne vinaigrette. So now that we've got the salad dressing done, we can adjust the seasonings if we need with a little bit of fresh salt and pepper. Um, and then add that dressing very, very lightly to our salad mixture of our Cahaba Club microgreens, our hothouse cherry tomatoes, and our fresh hearts of palm from our folks over at Halpern Steak and Seafood. So now we're gonna to go to assemble this gorgeous dish we just spent this time making. So we're just gonna take these and lay these out here um, in some different slice patterns. Now when you're slicing these, you can slice them in rounds, you can slice them in sticks. Um, it's really just a matter of making sure you get them nice and paper thin um, as you go through this so that way it's easy for the guest um, to slice through with a knife. Now one other thing you can do with this is if you wanted to, you can actually hard roast these um, and then give it, make it a little softer texture. I like them in the raw because it kind of adds to the uh, veg centric portion of the dish um, and kind of helps retain the crispiness of it. So when you roast them, they get a little soft, but it's all up to you. So we're gonna come back with this nice salad mix. Just kind of pile it up right here in the center. Now you wanna make sure not to cover up uh, all of your nice, beautiful slices of butternut squash. And just to add a little bit extra to it, if you wanna come, go right around the plate with that nice bone marrow vinaigrette that we put in a nice squeeze bottle for you. So again, thanks. For watching us today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your culinary specialist or your local Gordon Food Service CDS. Thank you.